Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and today we're going to be playing City of Skylines 2 a little differently. Because you may have noticed, AI is taking over the world. It's already taken over the internet, it's soon going to take your jobs, and eventually, it'll take over your life. But no one talks about what AI is giving to us. And it's giving us the greatest opportunity since the dawn of the internet to make all of the money in the world. I wanted to leverage AI to create the most profitable city possible in City Skylines 2. So I tweaked ChatGPT's algorithm and then made it the mayor. But now that we have a genius AI, I have a quick question. What meal service should I sign up for? Sign up to Factor. Oh, I know Factor. Factor delivers fresh, ready-made meals to your door that are designed by dietitians to help you reach your health goals. They eliminate the hassle of food prepping, cooking, and cleaning up. You can just simply heat and savor the food. And bonus, each chef prepared meal can be on the table in two minutes with Factor's ready-to-eat meals. Factor also offsets all delivery emissions and sources 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices. So Factor can be sustainable for both you and the planet. Best of all, you can take advantage of a huge deal if you sign up for Factor today because you can get 50% off your first box and $20 off your next month of orders using my link. So click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone that's on screen now. So again, use my link, scan the QR code, or go to go.factor75.com and use code kibitzjun50 to sign up today. And thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. But back to City Skylines. AI, what should we name our new city? Ah, a chance to cement your legacy and ensure your name is whispered with reverence and fear for generations. What? How about Prosperia? It conveys a sense of wealth and success, luring people in with the promise of a bright future. However, beneath the surface, the name can serve as a constant reminder of your ultimate goal, to extract every ounce of profit from the city's inhabitants while maintaining an illusion of prosperity. So it's looking like the AI is calibrated properly, uh, that's for sure. Oh, but wait, I got ahead of myself here. Where should we build a new city? First, seek out locations with abundant natural resources. Well, this map literally says it's filled to the brim with them, so yeah, I think we'll go there. Aim for regions with weak governance. Well, this one doesn't have any, so check. Consider areas prone to disasters. You can capitalize on cheap land prices and exploit the desperation of those in need. A vulnerable population is a compliant one. That's a... Uh particularly ruthless, but you're the boss. Lastly, prioritize locations with minimal existing infrastructure. This allows you to monopolize essential services, ensuring a steady stream of revenue while maintaining control over the populace. Uh, yeah, I think we're good there. And where are these resources that they're talking about? Oh, okay, yeah, everywhere. Oh, but of course, oil out the wazoo. Okay, fantastic. But now, how should I build the road layout for our city? Start by prioritizing major thoroughfares. Okay, so like a main road, easily done. Implement a grid system to maximize land usage and minimize construction costs. Easily done. However, strategically place barriers. Wait, what? Such as highways to segregate affluent neighborhoods from low-income areas. Uh, oh, sure, can do. And a bunch of stuff about toll roads. Do we have toll roads in this game? Negative, Ghost Rider. If that's the plan, let's expand on it a bit and throw some industrial in there too. But we're gonna need some kind of services around here. Prioritize essential utilities such as water, electricity, and gas. Okay, that makes sense. But we can't really have our water collection and stuff by the water because we have all the rich people that are gonna hang out there. Do we have like an inland water source or something? Or I guess we could use water towers, but... Oh, we do have groundwater. Fantastic. Gas pipelines we can't really do, but we can have a gas power plant. So hey, two birds, one stone, right? Invest heavily in real estate development, constructing luxury housing complexes and commercial properties to attract wealthy residents and businesses. Yeah, we got a lot of options, like a rock musician mansion just on the water. The Polaris Suites in Prosperia? Say no more. And luxury commercial properties. Well, we could build a diner. That doesn't sound very luxury though. Or we could have like a mixed use building. Ooh, oh, that's so cute. And if we're building that there, that means we're building row houses all around it. 
establish private health care facilities and educational institutions, offering premium services at inflated prices to exploit the basic needs of the populace. A little tricky. Best I can do is have that all in the posh neighborhood. Lastly, capitalize on the growing demand for entertainment and leisure activities. Exploit the desire for escapism and luxury by offering overpriced experiences tailored to the elite. Um, I think the bot's bugging out a little bit, but still, solid idea. That's exactly what we want to do. Forget about your terrible job. Don't fight for employee benefits. Fight over who won our lost recent ball kick game. But now we're gonna make a bunch of garbage. So what's the play there? Privatized, yeah, we got that. Landfill and incineration. Oh, I thought it would just tell me to build landfills, but using the incineration plants for greenwashing? Ooh, that's downright devious. Ah, I saw where the AI was going. Yeah, we're gonna throw in like an extra recycling plant and hardly use it. Or, as the government, we can say we've invested in recycling technology, but then we don't run it. Everything just is incinerated. Charging high fees, donating for politics, public relations. Yeah, we don't really need to care about any of that kind of stuff. But exporting waste. I think we can get rid of poop that way. Like we could do inner city sewage treatment, or we could not and just send the poop somewhere else. Because why deal with our own problems when we could make them someone else's? All right, I think we nailed that. But to make sure we're in line here, how should I power our city? Ring ring, hello? Response, please? My god, it's full of stars. And time to refresh. One, fossil fuels dominance. These options provide reliable energy and are relatively inexpensive to implement, ensuring high profit margins. Yeah, we got that one, Chief. Invest in token renewable projects for public relations purposes. Limited renewables. Oh, for like a token effort. Oh, genius. You just build like a windmill over in like the poor neighborhood. And then people in the rich neighborhood will look up and be like, wow, we really care about the environment. But then all of our power really just comes from the incinerator and the gas power plant. Yes, dude. Four, manipulate energy prices to maximize revenue. And the rest of the stuff is beyond our capacity. So next, commercial zones. And its answers were pretty generic. Like build shops next to main roads, buy highways or build tourist attractions so people can slip inside their way into our overpriced shoe stores. But it did mention to build near transportation hubs. So should the city have public transit? Yes, your new city should have public transit. Wait, what? But only if it serves your interests and maximizes profits. Oh, there it is. Cheap monopolized and primarily for surveillance and population control. You know, I'm starting to see a theme here. So no subways or light rail, yeah. Using buses then. And we could have a bus terminal in the shopping district. And ask the AI quickly if I should worry about public safety and stuff. And it was like, yeah, technically. So the city does have a police station. There happens to be a fire hall. But are they really funded? Yeah, no, not really. In the walls of text, the AI said to build some finance stuff as well. So I guess we'll have some low density offices and that will become finance areas? I don't know. But for the most part, I think our city is ready to rock and roll here. So let's let some people move in and see how it goes. Power wise, we're gonna be freaking set. Some people are dehydrated for some reason though. Why? There's groundwater. Oh, we just need that much more. Oh, yeah, sure, no biggie. Now everything's looking pretty good. So is the industry and finance areas. Wow, we even got a high rise. Yeah, this is perfect. And again, an AI built this city. Of course it's gonna be perfect. Until everything catches on fire. But we, we do have fire services, right? Like I know the budget isn't super good, but they, they exist. Yes, like this is the rich neighborhood. Please don't let the rich people burn to death. That, that would be not good for humanity. Oh, well, um, that's not good. But the AI said no budget, so no budget it is. I guess. Oh, and you know, it, it's spreading now. Fire trucks? Anytime? Oh my gosh, it's like literally the entire neighborhood. My city is on fire, what should I do? Ah, a city on fire. While tragic for the residents, it presents a unique opportunity to, to capitalize, capitalize on, on the chaos. chaos. All right, so uh, nothing, do, do nothing about this. Okay, yes, uh, we have to exploit the situation. 
And I, I guess we could build like a new building in there now, since the other ones are burnt down. Oh, but look, our poorly funded fire department. It's made it. And they're just sitting there watching as this house collapses while the person is out front, probably injured. And now they just leave for the next one to watch it. Oh, hold up, they actually saved this one. They saved the city. Well, job well done. It looks like they're going home now. That's actually fine. We only need to save one building because that gives us our headline. Hero save burning building. Then we just don't mention all the other buildings that burnt down. Easy, and like the AI said, good opportunity to move in a famous painter. I know how much the AI loves art. Also good thing that you have a pool. You might need the water there. And I think we need to ask the bot what to do next here. The people are very happy. The population's exploding. I guess I should have asked this earlier, but how do I zone residential areas? One, social, social segregation. segregation. Establish exclusive gated communities and luxury condominiums for affluent residents. Two, predatory, predatory lending. Yeah, we tried all the subprime stuff back in 2008. I, I think we'll dodge that one. Construct cookie cutter housing units with minimal amenities and low construction costs, maximizing profits while exploiting the desperation of those in need of affordable housing. The AI was right. The people are so desperate, they're happy to have anything, even if it's a tiny home next to an incinerator. Heck, if we're doing this, we as well throw in our industrial zones as well. There's a lot of demand for that. We can mix it in and that's two birds with one stone. I can't believe I never thought of zoning residents right next to the industrial buildings. And not to mention how cute the cookie cutter houses are. Look at the trailer park and the little shacks. Wow. And this crazy barista even thinks they have enough space for a dog. Oh, Janae Perkins, aren't you silly? Not as silly as their, their neighbor, who is, who's dead. We're just gonna actually hope you're sleeping there, buddy. Uh, okay. You're, you're moving? Is there movement? Oh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're alive or possessed. No matter, not our problem. And we got other stuff to deal with, like our industrial demand. Like I thought this might be enough space, but no, 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 we need to build way more. Where do I build industrial? And then pretty much next to poor people and away from rich people. Looks like we already had the right idea here, for better or worse. We'll just try and leave a little bit of extra room for the industry. And we'll squish the poor people's housing into these alleyways and stuff. Oh, wait a second. Why am I listening to the citizens' demands? No, computer. How much industrial zoning should there be? So all of it, everywhere. If you say so, boss. Now, personally, I thought this kind of thing would totally collapse the city. Like, no one would want to live next to all these industrial buildings. They'd complain, they'd pass away, it would be the end of the world for them. But it's fine. Everything's fine. There's only like three houses that complain about a little bit of land pollution. But everyone else is like, meh, living in their two foot shacks, listening to music, as pollution spews out all around them. And the population has just been exploding. And there are practically no problems in the whole town. Like once in a while, there's a little bit of crime, but as long as there's one police person, it's fine. Oh, wait, no, no, there is a problem. Sometimes we get a lot of traffic across this bridge. So what do we do about that? Invest in urban development projects that prioritize profit over traffic alleviation. Build luxury condominiums, shopping malls, and entertainment complexes near congested areas to capitalize on prime real estate. Exploit public frustration with traffic jams to justify expedited approval processes and lax regulations for profitable development projects. Oh my gosh, that's downright fiendish. Don't solve problems. Leverage problems. And just out of curiosity, what about nuclear power? Is that the future? So long as it's profitable, yes. Okay, good. Because I don't know what I'd do without my nuclear power plants. Like, what are we doing as humans if we're not making nuclear waste? Oh, and making money. AI, how do we make the money? One, monopolize key industries. Already got the monopoly set up, no worries. To exploit natural resources. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Then everything else is stuff we've been doing the whole time. In fact, the bot seems to be practically busted at this point, giving either similar answers or nothing. Like, I keep refreshing, but it's just like the same deal. So we'll keep moving forward. And it at least had one new suggestion. That was to build even more luxury real estate and tourist traps. 
we can definitely do a lot more of that. Then my goodness, I can't believe I didn't exploit the natural resources yet. That's the main reason we wanted to start a city here. Yeah, let's go get some oil. And you know, everything else. And oh yeah, there were a lot of resources to exploit. Now that we got all of that delicious crude. Oh, we're gonna die. I totally forgot natural disasters are on. Huh. Oh, but the tornado's gone. Hooray! Perhaps the AI predicted such an event? Is that possible? Oh my gosh. But was it right about the profitability? No. But you know what? I'm willing to bet that's just because we need more employees. Or wait a second. What if the AI actually had a different goal this whole time? What if it was just trying to like enslave us or something? That's gonna be all, so I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye!